you'd make a fine fist. What's up for discussion? You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind and stand watch over it. The same. I had hoped I might have been able to stay by your side, to help however I could. But the Oak Father has spoken. My place is here. to the city before don't waste a step we leave the heart of the absolute alive thanks to you you did well to defeat Ketherick but Ketherick was only the first to fall there are many more battles ahead and they will not be so easily won you will need allies You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the absolute, the chosen, all. I the road to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the absolute's forces. Leave them be. There enough. What's inside? Oh, I'm waiting for you. Better 
be. It hasn't been long. It's a grim tusk, picking provisions from the dead. But the way I hear it, the fighting's not done yet. You need to resupply. Lady Light, your way. Leave them be. Fair enough. Let's see what this does. is here and my father I heard what happened what he'd become by killing him you set him free you set Aelin free and me a great deal but still some of the details elude me Ketherick Thorm is was my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. 
there's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. And a monster he'd become. A Mercolite. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. It's all out in the open now, and with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be.
made in there. Well, in it. Mm. These boots have seen everything. Wits and blades always shock. No time to rest. Light on my feet. done with this song, we will be looking for patrons. All coppers welcome, pal. Miss Elfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I miss Maul. Elfira's writing us a song. Stupid song won't bring Mole back. Tell her, won't you?
watch your back. A crooked touch. Let's get going. On my way. I'll give it a shot. Shame it cost us Halsin as a traveling companion, though. He may have been misguided, but I liked looking at him. Just like that hulking bear to stomp off in a half. I swear, druids care more about the plants of this land than the people. What's hiding here?
You're here. Good. That's good. Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. Maybe. I'd love to put on a show just for them. But it's boring if I'm the only one playing. I need another bard. Maybe I'll find one in the city. Until then, the kids and I shall work on our masterpiece.
dissimilar to one you found before, and similarly baffling. In your mind's eye, the symbols trade places with each other until a clear pattern forms. And from that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir. Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one given how expertly it was encoded. The disc doesn't respond.
Another day, another fight. Sign above. This must be a brewery or distillery. I could use a drink after wandering these ruins. We start down that road. Better not be cursed. A house of healing from the looks of it. Shadow Curse still taints the land. Perhaps we could have lifted it, had we tried. Looks like an army marched through here.
moment should mind my step. 